Hi everybody, Sandra Duran Wilson here and welcome back to this week's Mixed Media Soul Sparks and today I'm going to continue with where we left off last week. Remember we were playing around, we were mixing it up and putting all this paint everywhere and afterward I continued with some more colors because I had to let that layer dry and then I came back in with some stamps and just some inks and moved it around and I've got this wild crazy mess going on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint out a lot of these areas in order to bring some order in. And this is just a piece of paper that I have drawn this little kind of my symbol of the horse and some spirals. And the way I'm going to do this is I have to tape this down. So I'm just taking some masking tape and kind of making it two-sided. Deciding where I want this part to go. Let's just kind of keep moving this around. And see, and this is going to act as a mask. And so I'm looking at what are the areas that I want to keep showing through. What colors am I looking for? And so on your piece, you're going to have created, you know, a, kind of a hot mess like this with lots of colors going on. And now, whatever shapes you decide you want to do, you could also make a, a mask like this using frisket film, but I'm just doing real low tech here. And the feet are going to be a little tricky, so let me get this up in here where you can see. Has to be small. And it's not going to be too perfect, but hey, we're not about perfection. Because I can come back in here and change this a bit after I remove the mask. Then I've got some spirals. So I'm going to bring a spiral in over here. Wherever I might. I might just hold that in place, just do one little piece of tape on it and the same with the bigger one. Now I can get my gloves back on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up kind of an off-white color and I'm going to begin to put that over the majority of the piece. So I'm going to paint back most of this busyness and I'm going to talk a little bit about paints. Now, titanium white is what I'm using, and there are some whites that are more opaque than others. Holbein makes a, a matte white, which is very opaque, and uh, Sennelier just came out with this matte, which is kind of opaque too. And then this is also Holbein. It's not quite as, as opaque. So I'm going to do a little mixture here and I'm going to add a small amount of yellow ochre. I'm going to try a different one. This is the, this is a different thickness you can see. And I've got a sponge here, which is still a little wet. Squeeze it out. And here's the trick is you want to mix your paints and you really want to kind of dab this to where you don't have any kind of blotches, very technical term, blotches of paint. Now I don't have to have this white so it's completely opaque. I can I can work with that. I can adjust it by adding more white. So there, it's not quite as opaque as I wanted. So I just come back in with some more. And if I keep rotating the sponge, I'm not going to get the this rectangular edge of it.
And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around this whole thing. Blocking out more areas. When I say blocking out more areas, I was trying to cover up some of those red markers. But they tend to, to come through. They tend to bleed through a bit, which I think can be interesting. Now, if I get out here, I might just try smoothing it rather than dabbing that. You get a, a bit thicker amount of paint on there. I'm holding it in place because, as you recall, I didn't get this taped down really well. Oops. Well, we'll see the effect. <laughs> I'm going to come back in and put my my horse back on here so I can finish. There we go. So you see if that happens, you just go back in. There we go. Now I can take that off because I can continue outside the lines. Let me turn this around so you can kind of see the horse shape coming through. You see where the, the horse was, and I'll come back now and I'll start to really add some more opacity here so we can really define this shape. And the same thing around this spiral. It really does help to tape it down. And I'm going to just keep working on this the same way and maybe even go back in and mask some areas to where it's a little more opaque, just so this will pop out. But you get the idea of how to paint it out. It kind of reminds me of um, cave painting. It's the opposite of that, like say when they would put their hand up and then tap the paint around. So we're, we're using this to create this shape. We're going to paint it out. We get a little bit more white in here with a brush so I can get these more defined edges. I like the sponge because it has this very soft effect that you don't necessarily get with a brush. But I can do that, come back in, and then diffuse it. See what I'm talking about here, diffusing it, so I'm not getting brush strokes or anything. And I like how those marks are still kind of coming through, but I think I might come back in here and just start to paint that out a bit more. And you don't have to use the masks like I did with, with the um, paper. You can just you know, take a look and begin to paint out shapes that you see. It's, it's really up to you of how you see these shapes. So that's it for this week. I'll keep working on this and I'll post a picture of it when it's finished. And I'll have more spirals over here and I'll see maybe what else pops up. But you get the idea. You go and you play and you make this really wild and crazy mess. And then you come back and you start to paint out and you leave your figures with this crazy wild shapes. So thanks for joining me this week and if you like the video please share it. Check out the website for any online classes that you might want to take. It's been fun having you along and I'll see you next week.
Join the community and share your creations on social. Use the hashtag Mixed Media Soul Sparks. I look forward to seeing your comments in the comment section.